Hi guys, this is going to be the fifth tutorial on how to add things to your Google Sites. And in this one, I will show you how to add a page counter, how to change the layout setup of your welcome page, and how to share your website. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a page counter. And in order to do that, we're going to have to edit this page. And we're going to go up to Insert. And a page counter is actually a gadget. So I'm going to go to More Gadgets. And then we go to the Public Gadgets. And in the search area, I'm going to type in Counter. And I can scroll down and see some different types of, you know, page counters. Some of them that work better than others, if you will. And one that I know that works quite well is both, both the visits and the hit counter. I'm going to select the visits counter. And I'm going to select save. Or OK. And when I look at my page, I can tell where it inserted the, the gadget because that's where my cursor was. And that is not where I want it. I actually want it down here in a different area. So I'm going to scroll up and I'm actually going to delete from it from where it is right now by clicking the delete button here. And since I want it underneath these two columns, I need to change the layout. So I'm going to go up here and select layout. And when we originally set it up, we said two column, but remember I said we could go back and change that. So this time I wanted to do a two column, but I want this little bar underneath it. So I'm going to select the fifth one down. This time I'm going to put my page counter right down in here. When I put my cursor there, of course the keyboard pops up. And remember, you want to keep the keyboard up while I'm telling the Google where to insert it. Select the insert button. I want to do a gadget. Actually, it's called more gadgets in there. There we go. And I'm going to select public. And select counter. Slide my keyboard. Now, this is another one that I know works very well. I'll select that one this time. I select it. I hit select. And I hit OK. Now it goes where I want it to go. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just center that. When I hit save, I can see what my new gadget looks like. Well, I've got one visit. That would be me. Now notice that the other row that it put in here doesn't show up, but it's there if you want to add something to it. Okay, so we've changed the layout. We've inserted the gadget. And now I want to show you how to make sure that you can share this correctly. When I click on the share button, by default, it shares privately or with Eden Prairie, cool people can find it and edit. I certainly don't want people to be able to edit my site. The only persons that you should give permission to, to do that are your teacher and your parents. I am going to make my site public on the web, unless my parents and I have discussed um, other options. And I'm going to ensure that it says can view and not can edit. And I'll go ahead and just click on save. And this is the URL that you'll share with people. You can either copy this by selecting it, or, and then you can email it, or you can paste it into a spreadsheet that your teacher tells you to paste it into. And that, my friends, is the tutorial for how to share, how to change the layout, 
and how to add a counter.